If you also get scared when you see the bugs in your house, then, of course, you consider it very dangerous. But the reality is quite the opposite, because they do harm but only benefit. If you see these bugs in your home next time, leave them alone and be happy that these bugs are in your home. Don't be surprised, and we'll tell you how useful these bugs can be for you. Hi there, you are watching WizPal, and today I'll be telling you facts about bugs. These facts will shock, delight, wow, and inspire you. Many people are trying to get rid of these bugs, but they don't know how reasonable pest control can be. Although it can help you get rid of many flies, moths, termites, ants, and other bugs. Number 1. Not a danger for humans You will be surprised to hear that they are not dangerous to humans at all. However, people are not their target. They are looking for something else. Instead, they neither bite you nor damage your furniture and clothing. And the exciting thing is that it doesn't crawl into your kitchen like cockroaches. They do not cause any disease and do not leave any germs and dirt in your home. Instead, they go out at night in search of their prey. They will not be a threat to you unless you attack them first. And when you shoot them, they will bite your skin in return. But still, there is no risk as it will not cause much damage to your skin because there is no value of the loss in return for the benefit they bring. If you still find them slightly uncomfortable inside your home, turn off the lights in your home, cunningly lock them in a jar, and leave them outside in your garden, because there it will work best to protect your home plants from other pests and insects. But because they like moisture more, they can re-enter your washroom, etc. To avoid this, you should close the holes so that they do not come in again. Number 2. The Protector of Your Garden it's very beneficial for your garden, and ladybugs are considered to be very useful for cleaning insects. Ladybugs and lady beetles eat all the nasty bugs and clean out your plants at once. It is so helpful that you can bring them from the market and leave them in your garden if you know their benefits. On the off chance that you don't see these inextinguishable bugs in your yard, you may be attracted to purchase a bag full at a nursery store or nursery. However, there are a couple of things you should know before you invert it. When you discharge grown-up ladybugs into your yard, they have to take care for half a month before they begin laying eggs once more, and they may move to another nursery with a menu. Having blossoms in the bud all through the season, and seizing the utilization of non-specific pesticides, will help keep these creatures at home. One of their number one food is aphids. Uplifting news on the off chance that you have an enormous shade tree that protects your carrier on sweltering late spring days. The adherent stuff on your windshield you generally figured was sap isn't. It's aphid compost. There are other lesser-known bugs, the troublemakers as well. Some are hunters, and some are parasites. Among the hunters are green lacewings, which may consider the best bug for bug control. They feed on aphids, white flies, coarse bugs, delicate and rainforest scales, leaf insects, Mexican bean bugs, and caterpillars. Lacewings are commonly sold as eggs, which you at that point spread around plants. The spined fighter bug, a local stink bug, is monetarily accessible. Furthermore, benefits from leaf creepy crawlies and caterpillars. Privateer bugs are little hunters, not precisely an eighth of an inch long, that feed on thribs, aphids, bugs, and bug eggs. Four types of this standard yet exceptionally successful hunter are accessible monetarily. Number 3. Best Parasite for Weeds Little bugs are likely the most widely recognized parasites for weed control. Some assault eggs, and some assault the creepy crawlies in later phases of improvement. There are endless assortments of wasps accessible that are ideal for examining the vermin and yield with a proficient provider. Buying live bugs for your nursery may have a few advantages and can be a piece of incorporated bug the board. But since the bugs will come in the general move from yard to yard, it's a sketchy venture. Lacewing eggs might be the smartest choice. They are alive. However, eggs can't walk or fly, and in the same way as others of the outstanding bugs, are best in the hatchling stage. Figuring out how to perceive exceptional bugs and securing them by using specific pesticides is the smartest course. When bugs are undermining a harvest, these gainful bugs can be delivered to eat the bug and forestall further damage. Sometimes, bugs that eat certain weeds can be given to shielding the weed from spreading. They perhaps act like hunters, parasites, or parastoids. Number 4. Bugs as Pollinators of Plants We need them to complete fundamental cycles like pollinating plants, reusing supplements, supporting the evolved way of life, and holding woods in line. Pollinators and seed spreaders are significant parts of wood biological systems. Bugs pollinate 80% of all trees. Honeybees, wasps, flies, creepy crawlies, and butterflies drink nectar, eat dust from blossoms, and store it in different blooms, pollinating new sprouts. Ants convey a weighty burden too. They're liable for the germination of more than 150 plant species. 
They gather and bring seeds to get back and eat. However, the fortunate ones that don't get gobbled wind up developing along the subterranean insect's way. Along these lines, ants permit the seeds to travel significant distances without the requirement for wind. Creepy crawlies don't only nibble on seeds and nectar, however. They likewise eat leaves and needles. And in doing as such, direct accessible supplements and fuel sources in the dirt. Bugs measure the genuine issue and convey it into the ground as separated supplements, which are substantially more available to microorganisms in the soil and more straightforward for plants to use for development. When a tree has kicked the bucket, it's dependent upon creepy crawlies to begin reusing the tree supplements once again into the earth. Decaying wood, however, is an entire story from leaves and needles. It's harder for microorganisms to separate wood and bark than it is to separate plates from plants. The bark shields the wood from being gotten to, in this manner forestalling deterioration. It is when creepy crawlies act the hero, they drill openings down into the storage compartment with the goal that parasites, microorganisms, and different bugs can enter and begin working. If bugs didn't bore those openings, the deterioration cycle would accept twice as long. Number 5. Some bugs are also food sources. The act of eating creepy crawlies and tomophagy sounds gross to us. However, bugs have filled in as a food hotspot for individuals for a considerable number of years. It is presently uncommon in many nations, yet entomophagy is drilled in parts of Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. As per the InsectsAreFood.com site, there are over 1,400 consumable bug types. Most mainstream are crickets and mealworms, but what do they taste like? Dry toasted cricket has an aftertaste like sunflower seeds. Caddy did like toasted avocado. Palm grub like bacon soup with a chewy, sweet finish. Weaver subterranean insect pupae have virtually no flavor. Giant water bug is, amazingly, similar to the pungent, fruity, fancy Jolly Rancher. Number 6. Bugs for Clinical Purposes Bugs or synthetic substances extricated from them have been utilized for many years to assist us with clinical issues. This is called entomotherapy. Studies recommend their toxin may improve side effects of rheumatoid arthritis, gout, osteoarthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, postherpetic neuralgia, excruciating or keloid scars. 2. Careful Parasites – Worm Treatment An injury to a creature or individual can prompt an issue with contamination. Whenever left untreated, these injuries can draw in particular sorts of blowflies that may lay their eggs in the damage. The slimy parasites that incubate from the eggs feed on the dead tissue in the injury and clean it. While these were some of the bug's benefits, I hope you'll better understand why you don't kill it when you see this bug. There are still numerous strange things out there that we will probably discover in the future. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, tell us in the comments below which of these facts surprised you the most. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to WizPal, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss any updates.